So does, you said that turmeric does something similar, I think, in one of your... Yeah, so there's um, what this process I'm talking about is is often referred to as like hormesis, right? Like yeah. the hormetic effects wh where you're putting a little bit of stress on the body and and the same goes for exercise, the sauna, right. cold shocking. So higher intensity interval training is another example. Exactly, of high, high intensity interval training and also some okay. of these plant polyphenols. So mm -hmm. turmeric, um, EGCG from green tea, uh, uh, quercetin found in like onions. So do um, you intermit that? So my question I had, sorry, I have one question for you. <laughs> I know it's your show. I feel bad. Um, on the turmeric side, like, is that something that you would do intermittently then? Or would you, because some people take it daily as a supplement. And I was thinking, well, if you're doing that every single day and your body gets used to it, is it going to turn on those gene expressions then? Um, that's actually a good point. But yes, it does, because it is slightly toxic to our body. Um, our bodies don't like turmeric. Uh, it's, it's uh, some of the compounds, some of these curcuminoids in the turmeric are made as a response to the plants to fend off like insects and, you know, fungus and things that are going to kill the plant. So, or the root, I guess, it's mm -hmm. not really a plant, right? It's, 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 root. Yeah, it's a root, root right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so our body uh, doesn't like it. It's slightly toxic. It, it, just like, you know, alcohol is slightly toxic. But as a consequence, um, it, it activates all these phase two detoxifying enzymes, which are um, involved in preventing your body from converting something like nitrite in your bacon to nitrosamines, which are carcinogens. Right. Um, so we have all these enzymes in our body that are capable of detoxifying. I hate the word detoxify because like a lot of <laughs> woo woo people use it, but we actually do have enzymes in our body called phase two detoxifying enzymes. Yeah. Um, and so they do serve a, a purpose. But not only that, um, turmeric also, so there's two really interesting uh, compounds in it. One is the uh, one that most people are familiar with, right? So that, um, is the curcumin, curcumin yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And that's the one that turns on all these anti-inflammatory genes, these de phase two detoxifying enzymes, all that good stuff. Um, but there's also something in it called aromatic turmerone, mm -hmm. um, which is why specifically I like to get turmeric um, or make turmeric tea and not just curcumin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because aromatic uh, turmerone has been shown actually just in the past year to cross over the blood-brain barrier mm -hmm. and increase um, I think it was in the subventricular zone, increased uh, neural stem cell mm -hmm. proliferation, and it affected like memory and performance mm -hmm. in, in mice. Mm -hmm. And so this is like all preliminary, you know, right. but, and it was like a very robust, like it was like something very robust. I'm not gonna say the number because I don't remember, but it was pretty mm -hmm. significant increase in new uh, neural stem cells, which is kind of your area. But yeah, very yeah, that interesting. That's what my thesis was on. <laughs> oh, cool. I see the SVV. Uh, oh, the subventricular zone. Okay, yeah. so that you know more about that than I do. But the fact the fact that this aromatic turmerone in turmeric is in is in turmeric, it's it's also very interesting. Cool. Do you add um, uh, black pepper to your tea? Yeah, so <laughs> black the piperine, the component mm -hmm. in the in the um, black pepper can. So our bodies um, like to get rid of these polyphenols, and a lot of them, like EGCG, a lot of them are on the same class. Um, there's certain enzymes in our liver, uh, the CYP enzymes that um, do get rid of it. Um, so that's why their half-life is very short. When you when you get turmeric in your body, it's immediately, your body's immediately trying to clear it out because it's toxic. It's like, no, get, get rid of this, you know? Um, but the piperine stops that enzyme from working. So you really have to be, be careful for people, like you guys are very health conscientious and probably don't, you know, take prescription drugs or things like that, but a lot of people do. And uh, prescription drugs are also metabolized to that same pathway. Mm. Uh, so if you are taking a prescription drug, probably best to avoid piperine because that will extend the half-life of whatever drug. Hmm. And God knows oh, what crazy. effect that's gonna have, right? right. Hmm. So that's always something to keep in mind.